Later that night, she dumped him, found me online, sent me a DM, and I fed her. And that's when he saw that the guy she was fing was me. So, I fed his mother. But once I knew he was at the club, I went over to his house and I fucked his girl. And losing her was actually his biggest fear because she was the like the best thing that ever happened to him. I fucked her. Billy King here. I was browsing around Twitter a couple of days ago and I came upon this beautiful clip. Tipping in America is crazy. I went to a Starbucks recently and I ordered a, a croissant. Mm -hmm. And then the barista spun the machine around. It said, do you want to tip? And then I asked her, I said, do people normally tip here at Starbucks? And she said to me, yeah, people tip if they want to be nice. If they want to be nice? And then she said it with a voice where it was sort of an attitude. Mm -hmm. And then I said, okay, well, if I tip, do I get a blow job? You said that? And for how long? Long story short, she actually called the cops. As they arrested me, they, they pushed me away. I remember thinking that I would have actually tipped her if she wasn't such a bitch. You know, and that's actually Alpha King rule number 14. You can attract way more bees with honey than a beehive. Now, I was enthralled by this man. The Alpha King. He's Andrew Tate. Without the accent. And he has a bunch of rules. Alpha rules. Alpha King rules. I, I needed to find out what these rules are. Maybe they could help me out, become more successful in my life. So I did what any reasonable man would do. I subscribed to him. And I watched all his videos. And let's talk about him. In case you couldn't tell by the opening, this guy fucks. This guy fucks hard. This guy fucks. This is the first video I saw and it's probably my favorite. Years ago, I went over to a friend's house for a small get together. I took a couple girls with me. Well, it was obvious that one of the girls that was gorgeous, she had her eyes set on my friend, the host. I knew I didn't have a chance, so I had to get creative fast. I excused myself from the dinner party. I went to the bathroom and I shit on the toilet seat. Then I rejoined everybody back at the dinner table. And I asked my friend, hey, why do you have shit on your toilet seat? He tried to deny it, but none of us believed it. I ended up taking that girl home that night. Remember, Alpha King rule number 18. When you're losing, creativity is your best friend. I, I mean, it, it's got everything. Romance, love, shitting, fucking. It's a masterpiece. But after watching a couple of his videos, I realized the Alpha King kind of made the same video multiple times in a row. Later that night, she dumped him, found me online, sent me a DM, and I fed her. I ended up taking that girl home that night. And that's when he saw that the guy she was fing was me. But once I knew he was at the club, I went over to his house and I fucked his girl. She actually tried to suck me off when I asked her where was the bathroom. How can you ever love me if you can't fully love yourself? I looked up and said, bitch is trying to f One video is a masterpiece, but six copies are, are, are trash. It's the same way that Stort Little 1 is a masterpiece and then Stort Little 2 and 3 are complete garbage. That, my friends, is Billy King rule number one. Never shit in the same toilet twice. But Billy, can he actually make an entire channel making just one joke? It is possible, but it's very difficult. Just look at KB Lame. But our Alpha King has no such issue. He, in fact, has at least two jokes. But when we got naked, I looked down and realized I couldn't get hard. Then I looked at her and realized she had a dick. But when we got home, she took off her pants and I realized she had a big dick. 
There you go. Every time I see a new video of his pop up in my feed, I play a little game with myself. I try to guess what joke is gonna show up in that video. And most of the time, it's about fucking a friend's girlfriend or something, but sometimes it's about girls with dicks. Uh, Mr. King, you gotta have more variety in your life. And that's why Billy King rule number four is variety is the spice of life. Uh, numbers are hard, let's be honest. Math is vital to everybody's education. And unfortunately, the United States educational system is kind of a mess. Uh, take for example, our courageous Alpha King. He unfortunately was not immune to the United States educational system. Just look at this. Alpha King rule number nine, bravery equals respect. And that's Alpha King rule number nine. You must learn to love yourself before being able to love another. Now look, he is the Alpha King. He has a yacht. He makes millions of dollars. He has a loving family. He's very busy is what I'm trying to say. So we can probably give him a pass here for messing up his numbers. But, you know, Billy King rule number nine is never mix up your rules. And that's what started this whole stupid thing. His rules. That's what made me want to look at more of his videos to find out what the rest of his rules were. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the act right here. His rules are absolute dog shit. I'm sorry. Uh, some of these aren't even really rules that you can like follow for the most part. Like for example, the, the first video that I saw of him. Actually, Alpha King rule number 14. You can attract way more bees with honey than a beehive. You can attract more bees with honey than a beehive? What is, they live in the beehive. Ugh, okay. The original proverb, which you know, his rules are basically just modified proverbs, is you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. Which makes a thousand times more sense than you can attract more bees with honey than with beehives. This is Alpha King rule number 26. A jester wears bells on his feet. An assassin moves in silence. Also, like, a, a jester wears bells on his feet. An assassin moves in silence. What? How are those, how are those two related? <laughs> Billy King rule number 14, make it make sense. I'm honestly disappointed with Floridian Andrew Tate. Mr. King, I have one piece of advice for you. Iron out your rules. Make them into a book. If you sell that book, I guarantee you, I'll be the first person to buy it. That is a Billy King guarantee. I hope you have a great rest of your day.